what they did with this game was they basically shipped it off to Redacted Studios, which if you look at their site, basically it seems like they are... You know when companies outsource to random companies? It seems like this is what that... This is one of those companies. Like, this is what they do. They do... They are basically an outsourced studio. So people with a game idea go to them and they're like, Hey, develop this shit. And they're like, sure, we got this. And honestly, the result isn't that great. (laughs) I mean... Not even on that kind of level, but on a technical level, this game is not good. Like, on a technical level, the game isn't that good. It suffers from a bad frame rate. The frame rate goes all over the place during combat. And even when you're not in combat, the frame rate is all over the place. The The graphics aren't that good, to be honest. And it kind of looks like a early-gen like an early wave PS3 game and with the loading and everything it was presented like a PS2 game <laughs> it looks like a PS3 game but it's presented like a PS2 game the audio balance is all over the fucking place like the audio of that bitch at the end was super loud some of the enemy death effects was super loud also it wasn't, it wasn't very good. Uh, there was a lot of clipping as well. And... and <laughs> like, you, you'd think you'd have this... You'd think, like, just... Oh my gosh. Like, audio clipping is the most basicest of things you could have fixed. And you didn't. <laughs> the audio balance. The most basic of shit you could have fixed. And you didn't. Like, that one guy was talking, and it was really low. Then suddenly this bitch comes in like, <laughs> And he's like, what the, f- where the fuck did that come from? Friend and I merely seek the true power that the headbands represent. Carved out of this mountain of granite before you, and a people equally as strong and unyielding. <laughs> it's just like, you could have balanced this shit much better. And then... The, the fucking enemy that I made a video about thinking it was glitched because I spent half an hour on it. it. All the tutorials said, I watched back the footage while playing this, uh, <laughs> which was funny. While watching the, f- the footage, all it said was to do the thing to jump over them, to open them up. Never did it say, oh, yeah, once you've done that, switch to the Kuma style and then... Get a com no, get a combo going, because you can only perform the finishes when the combo's going. So get the combo going, jump over them, switch styles to the Kuma style, and then pray that your finisher actually kills them. Nowhere did it say that. I had no idea. It was random luck that I actually figured that out. And it was only that enemy that gave me that kind of problem too. Only that enemy. The game is pretty basic in how it plays. I mean, I never played the original Afro Samurai, but... You know, I from what I saw, it looked pretty good. Uh, the cutscenes and the story in this... I'm, I'm not a fan of Afro Samurai. I mean, I like the character and such, but... And I like the look of the first game. But to be honest, I've never read a single Afro Samurai like comic or I've never looked at the anime if there was one Uh, you know I don't really know anything about the series and I had no idea what the fuck was going on no clue like it it doesn't lend itself to somebody who has no experience whatsoever with Afro Samurai none you have to be You have to be in the know with Afro Samurai to get what the fuck is going on. And even then, I don't know if you will. I can't make that judgment. But for me, as an outsider looking in, this told me fuck all. This, this, I didn't understand a single thing that was going on. So, from an outsider's perspective, there's that. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't really know anything. All I know is Afro Samurai is a dude that's got an Afro and he's a Samurai. That's all I know, you know? I mean, 
I don't know what I was expecting going into this. I kind of hoped it would be more of Afro Samurai 1. Because people seem to like it. But there's so many issues with the game. You know... It's not graphically good. The sound isn't good. Not well balanced. A lot of clipping. There was some very questionable voice acting. There was some... There was unex <laughs> not explaining how to kill an enemy, which I spent forty minutes on, because I I spent more you know more time on it trying to actually figure out what the hell to do there. Um, you can still gain points, f skill points, after you've maxed everything out, which is weird. Usually they'd have a set cap. Maybe there's gonna be more styles. I don't know. But to be honest, I hope that Volume 2 is much better than this. Because I've bought all three of them. <laughs> so I will be playing the other volumes simply because I feel at this point, after spending 20 quid, I feel that I have to. You know? And so I'm going to be checking them out. I'm not looking forward to them in the slightest. But... I mean, uh, gosh, it just, it just, it, it's not a very great game. I'm so sorry, but it, it just isn't.